We're live. Another, uh, well, been a while since we've done, well, a few weeks. We were Monday, using salty language right before we went live. Monday live stream. Salty. Monday fun day. Monday fun day. I like that. Salty Monday fun day. Well, I'm we wearing just... the driver's cap low against advice, not, oh. not yours. That's all right. I know, but the guy that sold it at the Hat Man Jack, he said you're supposed to wear it up high like this. I can't stand it like that. Hmm. Oh, you know what we need to do? Open up the chat. Oh, good point. So I like to actually cock aside like I'm selling newspapers on the corner. So it's got a little bit of a, a, a cocky jaunt to it. And then I would like to wear it low to hide the high forehead. The Brunching Clan men have high foreheads. So my brother, eight years Years younger does not like his forehead. We're just getting the chat opened <laughs> up. Hang with us. I'm filling time talking about foreheads. You've probably been wondering where's the forehead channel. This is it. This is the channel where we talk about. We could start a YouTube forehead <laughs> channel, could, and it'd probably be huge. There we go. Dram dude is here. Dan. Daniel Willis, Whiskey Oster Sick, Heinz Americaners. That's Whiskey Jason. Who's playing Fortnite again? Colorless Blue Damn, Things, that Christopher means we Malloy. Have a bad connection. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see it on the video. Jeez. Yeah. God dang. Nobody's playing Fortnite. Nobody's home. It's just us. I've got a super fast connection. Uh, um, can't say the one name. Howdy. Sucky, uh, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for coming in, I think. <laughs> Scotty Swing, the Party Source Reviews, R. Grania, uh, Shimon, Troy Forsh, Whiskey Jason went and changed chant. Yeah, it's, hold on. I Whiskey Throttle. It. Oh, you know I what? I think it's suck, I Ooh. get. Dang. Uh, a blah, and then a low is how it's pronounced. Whiskey Throttle, Daniel is in Scotland, and he says hello from Ben... I think he means Nevis. He's at Ben Nevis. Ben mm. from Scotland. Hi, Daniel. Hope you're having hope you're having a good time. Looks like a good time. Uh, Robert LeCarish. Oh, from Iron Roof. Christine says, "Were we here just last night?" Well, yeah, we kind were. Of. This is an impromptu, <laughs> though. Yeah. Uh, so what that we try to been do? Filming. What we try to do? Yeah, we just got together. We filmed a few reviews, yeah. and then we try to uh, do a live one. Right. Happened here, and what we do a lot is use samples. Looks um this looks good some bottles that are sent to us roy roy he tunes in once in a while he's in uh the denver area oh he, roy roy he See, arranged you said roy earlier i was singing duff oh no it threw me for no just to like to say it the mccallan estate reserve about uh five four or five six ounces of it sure so we were going to uh take a look at that and say howdy to everybody first of all that sounds good Hold on. Nice, nice tight cork. Nice slid, yeah. Look at that. Now, admittedly, with the McAllen Estate Reserve, yes. I don't know what makes it. Sure. And I believe this is travel. I would say this is travel retail or international. Mm. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, 700 milliliters. Yep. So it's an international. I know. It's, I'm pretty sure it's not a U.S. release. 55.7 ABV. Ooh, really? Mm hmm Nice. Now, see, I haven't right. even... Uh, Popped Researched. the bottle and taken a look at this one yet. You didn't, and you could have. Like he might have said, "Hey, I sent that half full, or <laughs> arranged it," and then, and I was like, "Really, really? You like the jaunt of my cap?" Uh, Robert Lacarish again, though. I was getting on from Iron Root is here. We met them down in Austin. They're Iron doing root. some Iron Root, doing some good stuff. Iron Root, very and good. Expect big things. First part of December, we should be going down there to get a little uh, tour. Mm, mm, mm. And meet, hopefully meet Nancy Fraley as yep, well. Yep, Fraley should there. be there. She's running a blending class, I believe. Toon Van Rouge is here. Bourbon sh shenanigans. Yeah, Whiskey Life. All from Florida. Scotty Swing. Bourbon shenanigans. My sister's in Tampa. But, uh, are you in an affected part or an unaffected? Meaning I think it hurricane. went north. Farther Tropical north. Storm, yeah. It was. It was further up in the, like, near the Carolinas. Yeah. Lana Lou. Lana Lou will be here this Hi, weekend. guys. We will Andy see Walker. Soon. Oh. She wants uh, to share a cigar with you. 635? Right. 636. I, I just like the sound of that. We're looking at uh, temperatures in the upper 50s to 60s during the daytime looking this good. weekend looking and good. 40s at night. So right. a little chilly. Yep, but, but I like that. Kind of typical October with good yeah. cigar smoke. Yeah, that's true. Andy Walker says, hi, dummies. 
but Lana Lou is coming from Tampa as well. Bring She's a parka. To, Bring a parka. Yeah. My si sister lives in Tampa, and when it hit, hits 50, she puts on parkas. I'm not kidding. Ooh, parka. Dark, Sherry. I'll be walking around in shorts. The dark, old rosa. I may even put on thongs, meaning footwear, <laughs> with socks. <laughs> the quig here. What's up, food quig? quig. Gary Ziak. Ooh, Lana Lou on a panhandle. Marty Neary, get in. You're going to get in the whiskey. You're going to sit there and stare at that comment box. I've been perplexed. <laughs> <laughs> Lana Lou says she's definitely bringing some warm, warm yeah, clothes. Bring it. Bring it. Uh, Duncan Harmsworth is tuning in. He has created Ooh, a, um, a, a, a uh, toast for us. Oh, yes, he did. We'll We've got to practice that, out. too. Yeah. Because I know I have Probably been Friday night at the Scotch and Sirloin. Mm -hmm. Throw that yes, one out there. definitely. We We're gonna to whip it out. Practice. Excuse me while I whip this out. Ooh, cask made, all in yeah. caps. A bit late to the party, but good to be here. Not really. We just kicked. Daniel Brown. Get in Sunny there, Mark. Get in there. Good afternoon, very, you dummies. Very nice dark Oloroso nose. Mm -hmm. The chocolates, the the dates, the prunes, the plums. Mm. Oloroso sherry. God, that is good. Richness and intensity. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Yep. <laughs> With a multi finish. God almighty, that mm. is good. Flavorful. Mmm. I know. Got to put words in there rather than just... Mmm. Mm. That's good. Get in there, Scott. <laughs> it's good. It's good and it's tasty. <laughs> Means... <laughs> Means it's what did you know? Forty five point seven. I thought you said it was a little bit higher. I thought you said fifty something. Forty five point nope, seven. Forty five point seven. I was thinking if that's fifty some percent, it's really sounds tough. delish. Save some for me. I don't know. Very good. Boy, that is rich. That's got a good sherry influence on it. So on the nose, though, I get like almond, and it's a layer on the nose. I actually was surprised by the amount of flavor because it it came off a little. Almond and maltiness, but I wasn't getting a lot more on the nose. We apologize for the bad stream oh, quality. God, that's terrible, and we're literally right next to it. I told you to get it checked. I did. They said it's running super hot. It's 31 megs upload, which is what we need, hmm. and like 300 and something download, which is for Just, Netflix. Yeah. Focus on the voices. Hopefully the voices are coming through. It's sad, though. I mean, this is running as hot as you can get. We're literally like 10 feet from the uh, server. So, hmm, it'd be less laggy. This is a very nice balance. This is not over sherried. You still get there, boy. There's some almost like a almost got some raspberries there, and some of the blackberries from like a PX finish. A little bit lighter, a little bit sweeter, but those dark notes as well. It says that we sound fine and she knows what we look like. <laughs> We're all digitized. You know, the only thing I doubt we can do, you can go into YouTube. What we ought to do, what we could do here is just go in and knock it down to like 720p upload speed through YouTube before. We, I don't think we can do it We're live. I still can't. I mean, uh, before, even when we were going wireless, we were, I mean, we are super, super fast here. I mean, we got the highest speed we can get. The only thing is we're not hardwired in. All right, let's try this. It does bother me because I just called them the other day and had them run a test. I just knocked it down to media. Let's try that. That's been on us though a little bit. Well, your download is good right, right there. So there's the, uh, the download. You? I'm going to show you guys in a second. So download is, is kicking in in the 300 pluses. And this is just wireless coming in on the phone. Now watch that. Boom. Right up to 28 megs on the upload. Yeah, that's plenty. We should be killing it. And it's going to hit, well, it hit 29. You only need 5 to 10 megabytes. Look at that. 29.3 on the upload, 314 on the download, which doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're uploading. We should be killing it. Should be good. Yeah, something else is happening. Something else is crapping. And maybe you need to... Maybe... I okay. thought about doing that before. All right, that could be that could be what we need. Maybe something's lagging it. Right. Uh, Christine Dims, that's what we were thinking, or what I'm thinking. The estate reserve is a travel retail or uh, international release only. It's a 700 milliliter bottle. 
And in fact, is most times in liters, but it says 700 milliliters. So it must be a U.S. travel retail bottle. Hmm. Do you have uh, oh, there's Bill. Going on your computer? Whiskey Dick. No. Um, you know, we had... No, I mean, it's. I used this computer last night from my place. Uh, good quality. I think it's Bart's wrap. Like shenanigans. Honestly. Too many watches bringing it down. What's weird is I've got the most up to date router. I think it's called the Portis. I don't know what it is. I like Daniel Brown. He says there's a meme potential in here for something with Scott making that face that says, find someone who makes the you. Yes, makes for this whiskey. Wow. I love it. <laughs> Everyone, I like this bourbon blind. Everyone remember to hit the thumbs up. Thank you. The whiskey dick says it's probably Bart. <laughs> sure. The shirt's taking massive amounts of data. Look at that. Look at that shirt. That's Scotty shirt. Scotty Swing says it just cleared up a bit. If anything, that shirt is bringing it down. There's too much <laughs> color. The bandwidth can't handle the contrast. And the rhino, baby. Ooh, almost inhaled that one. Well, we do have some the wonderful running. Oak. I got some wonderful oak notes on here. Um it's oak with all those beautiful fine sherry notes laid in there. So this is a heavy oak with a medium sherry for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I get a lot of the dry and then sweetness lured in at the exact same time, which is delicious. So zooming it in has cut us back a little bit. What's the deal? Why is it kicking? When I No, when I knocked the bandwidth down, it went from oh, widescreen 1080p gotcha. down to 720. So gotcha. it, did, it did crop a little bit. I didn't gotcha. want to get up and go adjust the camera. Sure. So you'll right, just have to move back. adjust your head. Oh, I'm out of the screen. I can encroach upon you. <laughs> there you go. The sniper says we need to reconfigure your Heisenberg compensator and realign your EPS conduits. Thank you. Way to go, Sniper. Uh, uh, sniper Eric Waite will be here this upcoming weekend. Ooh. Mark and Drew from the Scotch Four Dummies are coming to Wichita, a little bit of our fifth anniversary yep. gathering. We'll be doing some live streaming both Friday night and Saturday. Yep, we'll be flying by the seat of our pants. Bourbon Shenanigans said he's just sent us a uh, picture. Where'd it go? It popped on. Posted Chris a coin pick on Instagram. Christine Deems mm -hmm. wants you to wear the hat from last night with that shirt. I'm trying to remember which. Oh, yeah. The right guaranteed. Hat. Yeah, the rainbow hat's great. That's almost a staple. Uh, Scott, my bourbon journey is tuning in. Uh, mm. Yeah, flux capacitor from Lana. And I think the dick, meaning whiskey. Uh, rich, creamy sugary caramels melting sherry dark oloroso notes do oak. we have do we have any hints and you may not be able to put them out because you talked to ben dietrich last any hints on the five scotch he, malt whiskey well he asked he goes can bottles. you want to try to hook up and and source these out he said I've, he says what i have in mind are bottlings up to 21 years of age, some exclusive sherry, mm. some heavy peat. I knew that. And I said, I think you have it yeah. well. Man. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. Because he's basically already touched in on you and me. Yeah. And then up to how, 21? I think he said up to 21 years of age. Heavy right. sherry, heavy peat included. <laughs> yeah, so. Zach wants to see the rainbow hat. All right. I'll be wearing the rainbow hat probably both days. <laughs> That we were in Goodwill for bizarre and odd shirts, which we found. And then he literally pointed and said, I bet you wouldn't wear that on the show. And I threw it in a cart. And bam. Did we call that at 635? I think you did. Uh, 636, because I said I love the number system. It's a 6, 3, and a 6. Uh, Eric, wait. Lana Lou, you have to make your use a type 2 phase inducer with the flux capacitor. Uh, on, on Gia, midday drinking, he wishes it were, or he or she wishes it was me. Mm. We actually started a couple hours ago. Yeah, we did. 
That's, that's one of the beautiful things. We don't want to have to do that, no, but we do just, it so yeah, you don't have it's to. It's a labor of love. That's why we train. <laughs> we, we train hard for this. <laughs> we actually know this it is, is an attorney who has this beautiful wall of whiskey at his work, and he's like, yeah, every Friday we knock off at four, and we sip some of this. I was like, damn, should have been an attorney. But now, like, we're, we got one up on him. This feels like a 15 to 18 year old, well aged, well balanced. I would agree. Sherry and oak. How about the finish? The finish Good. is very it, long and lingering. Yes, it's still yeah, going very on. Very nice. Very sweet. Yep. It stays there with you. Oh, it's just the linger here is beautiful. I mean, it's that wonderful fruity aftertaste that keeps going and going and going with again. Just a hint of the oak lingering around. Ooh, makes a great noise. You got to pour just a little, you know, a little bit more. Sure. We're down to the bottom here. Oop. There you go. Ooh, that's that's all right. right. You can do whatever you want. That was literally like two drops. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's two, dro two drops of goodness. I did pour. I was trying to get like one I think you drop got more drops on my finger than you did on in the glass. Mash and Drum, welcome. Been catching up on some of your of uh, the older videos today. Videos. Oh, no, Tom R. talking Mash and Drum. Gotcha, sorry. Let me help you with the chat there. Thanks, it was moving. <laughs> uh, of course, my bourbon journey, check him out on YouTube. The Mash and Drum is Jason C. He just started up not too long ago, doing very well. He's got a whole Elijah Craig thing coming. Have you seen, I know we talked about, out when Bill posted for 12. Have you checked his numbers lately? Uh, I think the last time I checked, he was almost at 50K. Where's it at now? 300,000 views. Oh, look And at he that. jumped about 6,000 subscribers. Way to go, Whiskey Dick. I know. Good call. Well, we should have that the, there was all the controversy. We should have the pro Where's the proper 12? I don't know, but that was a good call. Well, he hit it at the right time because then yeah. he got in the big fight and then uh, the whole thing happened outside the yeah, well, he, Yeah, him and Brolick Whiskey mm -hmm. capitalized on that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They're right there. 315,000 views. Look. Literally just like. Perfect. Days it just See, here's my philosophy is this. Uh, a rising tide raises all boats or all ships yeah, because right. um, I've watched Whiskey Dick, uh, some of his reviews. I don't, I don't watch a lot of other show reviews, quite honestly. I'm doing all this board game stuff and everything. But in the side column, and uh, Scotch for Dummies and Aqua Vitae's in there. So anything that helps one of us, I believe, ends up helping all of us. So. Although that's awesome. That is great. Ong Gia is asking if we've revisited Bunahaven 12 since our early days. No, and I would we I would to. like to. We want to. I would like to. Because we're big that. fans of the Bunahaven. I've had a lot of the Bunahaven releases that mm -hmm. I've had have really pleased well, my yeah. palate lately. Yeah, yep. really, it's really grown. That it's kind of got that there's a characteristic unpeated Bunahaven mm -hmm. characteristic mm -hmm. that I like. Um, even some of the peated stuff, but the, I think the Buna Haven 12, when I first had it, that unpeated malty, salty seaside type note mm -hmm. was, was a put off to me. Hmm. But since now I haven't had the Buna Haven 12 since, but Got it. I'd like to go back to see how it fares now. I think it would be, would be good. Yeah. One thing back to the whiskey dick, what was funny, we go, he talks about all the people tuning in, knowing he was going to have a lot of first time viewers to his show. He's like, who would want to watch somebody talk about whiskey for 20 minutes? Kind of a, you know, he's, that's him. That's oh, all of us. Yeah. And I thought that was funny. That was a good part because <laughs> he's kind of wink and nod. Like that's what generally goes on. So. Uh, do, 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 whiskey dick. Yep. I gave you guys a shout out along with uh, Eric. Montreal, Trinity and C, community tab as well. Hoping, all in caps, like he yelled that part. Hoping that you guys <laughs> got some new stuff. Hey, don't yell at us. Yeah, don't yell. Don't be yelling <laughs> just because you got 350,000 million views. <laughs> no, that's all good. Like I said, um, uh, Scott, like, <laughs> elbows, what, what? Scott elbows me all the time, but I've seen this in the uh, board game world as well. Crazy. Yes. Point is the proper 12 is amazing <laughs> for cleaning kitchens and bathrooms. Perfect. So 
Uh, uh, a few other channels, though. Bourbon Shenanigans is tuning in. The Mash and Drum. Eric Waite. My Bourbon Journey. The Whiskey Dick. Um, do, 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 who else have we seen? Does anybody in here know who Will Wheaton is? Do you know? I know the name because you've said it like 4,000 well, times. He played Wesley Crusher in the, in the original uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. He's a board gamer. He did a show called Tabletop. It immediately was hitting a million views. Food Quig. Gotcha. It was hitting a million views for board games. A buddy of mine who the game show I was on, although that guy's getting a million, he started to get like thousands and 60,000 views. So again, uh, once people realize the greatness of whiskey, I think it helps everybody. Bur said. Bourbon blind. You're just... Same. Other channel. Check out. Gotcha. Sorry. George Kaplan. I missed I missed them. Saying, he doesn't have a channel. I know. I'm just saying his name, George Kaplan. <laughs> I just wanted to say. It. I just felt bourbon, like I needed to get in. Uh Bourbon Blind came up. Uh they're doing pretty good reviews too. Now I see I see um uh the main guy there. I can't think of what his name is, sorry. But you're doing a lot of distillery stuff. Cool. You're getting the uh, insider information there. Yeah. Hold well, on. I think he was hold on. Christine Dems. Deems. I'm not sure if I said which one right. Deems. Gotcha. <laughs> you all like it's, it's Deems. Eric Waite says that Will Wheaton plays Will Wheaton on Big Bang Theory. That's true. That mm -hmm. is very true. He's Sheldon's like uh, alter ego, his evil. All right. Let's. Uh... Are we ready to wrap it up? I think so. There's Woo. a few things, though. Should I do a live from down here? I kind of just felt like I stood up quick and like got a little dizzy there. I kind of set up. This is really good. Yeah. I said the fruit with the oak overtones is really nice. Um, yeah, Bourbon Blind is still here with us. Thanks. Well, Churro, hi, buddy. Just arrived myself. Go Habs yells out duck. All in caps with an exclamation. More like dummies, like that. Oh, watch out. See, we lingered around. Bing, 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 Thanks for the shout out. Love really the money live. That wasn't really a cowbell. No, no. You is it, it you gotta give them at least the original digital cowbell. Hey Siri, play the cowbell. Playing cowbell and rattle sound effects by sound effects library. Wow, her lead-in was just impressive. yeah, just in case. Mock your iPhone first. <laughs> she's she's now mocking him. <laughs> wow, <laughs> look at that! If anybody else wants a personal uh, cowbell, money now. There we go. Nobody. All right, let's see. Uh, Whiskey Dick, Tom R, Tom R. What's up? See. You know, like I said, we're going to be seeing a lot of these folks in person. What? What? I missed it. I Ong, away. Ong Gia. He says, I'm a grown-ass man. Gotcha. Ooh. So that, there, I said Ong Gia. I don't know. Male? Female? Oh. Uh, he's a grown-ass grown man. What are you thinking? He's a grown-ass man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> South Dakota dude, Alexa, send everyone well, watching their favorite bottle. And that leads in Claire the Third for a long time. Sure. We referred to as gender-neutral Claire. True know what kind of Claire Claire was. <laughs> gender neutral Claire. <laughs> I want to keep calling him general neutral. He's, he's not a big board game fan. Probably not a big Bart fan. So Claire the third, gender neutral Claire. I like that. We call my son. Should we get into it? My son calls just for fun, calls me big belly Bart, which is funny because he's not really fat, but you got a bigger belly than me. I'm like, okay. What's he call you? Princess. Right. So when you show up, he says, hey, princess. So you quickly nicknamed him Sippy Cup. Yeah. Which he told me, dad, I'm not sure I like that. I'm like, right. <laughs> you're not necessarily supposed to like your nickname. He's like, huh? Yeah. He, he wanted his nickname to be like Super Gamer Dude or something. I'm like, whatever, man. It's now Sippy Cup. <laughs> He's 11. So, and I said, that's the way nicknames work. So he's, yeah. he's learning. He's learning. Well, he called me princess. And I go, well, that's good. It's, <laughs> but I go, usually your nickname wants to reference something. Yeah. I guess maybe. Right. Princess. He just uh, came he up must. with princess. Yeah. So I said, that'd be he's like princess. calling you sippy cup. Right. And then so he's like, like, come huh? here, sippy cup. Yeah. He's like, I don't like that. And I'm so like, then now you start, it's yours. You start yeah, calling Now it sippy is cup. sticking. <laughs> By the way, if you don't notice, only you guys will know this. He'll come in and change the dummies around. 
and he's the troll some of the trolls yeah the he? troll he had the cop troll which i since moved he had mooning everybody if you look in the old episodes and then there was something with oh it's over here uh the mickey mouse in there he put a post-it note up that says ouch this hurts because i was <laughs> i was using mickey mouse to kind of prop up the uh, frame because it was glaring and when i shoved him in there it's the glare off. So there's little hidden things that only you guys are getting right now. Uh, we had a fan send in these Pez dispensers. It's right there and there. So those are Pez dispensers. I got my I got my wife uh, good one day. We have a Would she you? has a bird feeder outside one of our big windows by our TV feeding squirrels, and the, it was empty and it'd been empty for a couple of days. <laughs> And I wrote a post-it note. I made it look like little kids writing. You know, letters were backwards and stuff. Like the birds wrote it, but it said "Feed us, lady." And I put that on the bird feeder out there. Like, and it took her. I mean, within a day, she saw it. She was just sitting there. All of a sudden, she started well, what, laughing. What? <laughs> the birds want food. <laughs> so you guys are getting behind the scenes stuff. So yeah, my boy, literally, when I'm not around will come in and change the back of the set he also left you a note once it's over there that said he left a note for scott here he's like what side does bruno sit on i'm like right over there and then there was a note there oh uh, let's see a lot of cool post stuff blah, 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 blah. thumbs up live everyone uh, i'm looking up a price down. point here real quick on the mccallum cup one gg a state reserve. He's checking it out. Mm -hmm. Does anyone else family look at them with a side eye when you Ooh. drink your daily pour? My wife gets concerned about how early we a little bit. Although we do it when she's at work, so she's kind of stunned with our production values. She's like, when do you guys film? She asked me once, I said, Mondays, what time? I go, usually start at 10. She's like, what? I go, when else are we going to film? Said I as I burp. There's a master of malt has this for $222 a bottle. That's very good. It is good. I like this is one you can you can sit down with this and spend. Hold on, you only gave me a drop before. Quite a while with it. <laughs> Now that I know, now that he knows it's expensive, he yeah, wants more. I need a little bit more. Uh, uh, low nineties. Uh, yeah, I'd give it a ninety. It's got a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. I like the oak layered in there as much. I'm not as the oak is mild though. It's not like a heavy oak. Uh, Gregor just tuned in. Hi guys. Hi everyone. Oh, the way to go. Family is to live alone, says Food Quick. No, Food Quick, no. You just have to make compromises your whole life <laughs> if you have family. <laughs> well, I just realized bourbon shenanigans. Mike is saying goodbye. He's got to go back to the beach chair. I forgot he's down by um, mm. Destin, or he was in Destin, Florida, mm. which is by Pensacola. Golfing, golfing community. Destin. Sounds like destiny. Look for Compass Box down there because I know there's some shops in the Florida area where older release Compass Box has been found. Really? There well, could be a General still sitting around ooh, down there somewhere. That would be good. Lana Lou says buy this one or Classic Cut. Uh, I would probably mm. actually buy this one. I just had Classic Cut the other night and good. It's obviously younger. Mm -hmm. um, it is stronger though too. This is at 45%. Um, this is, this is good. This is a, I mean, this is a, this is a slow sipper. This is one to sit around and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. really enjoy. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. This is not, this is definitely a slow, uh, a slow, smooth, tasty sipper. Now it's, it's been a while since I've had McAllen 18. I remember it being, being very good. This, and I said, this feels like a 15 to eight. This is probably on or close to the 18 year old. Congrats McCallum. on your videos of how to build a whiskey shelves. Oh, yeah. Thanks. That may help at some point. Where's yeah. that at? Uh, that is uh, Gregor. Oh, yeah. Seraphine. Seraphion. Uh, yeah, so I did part one a while back, and I just did part two and released it. Did you watch that one? 
I, I have not Listen. seen your new one. Daniel Brown says, soon to be a dad. First of all, congratulations. You're going to love it. And Bart, you're making me nervous. Well, as soon as you get married, it's all about compromise. Let's admit. I don't know. At least for me. Do you run your house like the like the really? king? Are you, you the, have are you, you accepted that? Oh, please. About compromise? Oh, come I've on. I've lived with compromise for years. I don't know about you. you do? Oh, yes, I do. Please. It doesn't, this I don't house think doesn't you don't. run how I, don't think I you want you, uh, I don't think you understand compromise. I do. I just hold the line on a few things. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I do? Now, there's some, my wife and I can't vacation together a lot. Mm. We vacation differently. That's, yeah, that's the key is to notice things though. Like when, when well, we no, vacation no, together, no, 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 no. What? we've talked, there's vacation and there's family trips. Family sure. trips are not vacation. Right. Right. But you I, expected vacation when you went on a family trip. Went to Puerto Rico three times thinking it was a vacation. And the first, <laughs> <laughs> I, she apologized on one. And, and well, the second one, she was like, the first one, it was a hit and get. It was a cruise, and we just stopped in Puerto Rico for five hours. That was good. The the other two, you you could have been in Kansas and just hanging out in people's homes. I was like, how about we hang out at the beach and they come to us? And she was like, what? I'm like, yeah. And that was crazy. Mm -hmm. It was like, grandma can't come to us. <laughs> You don't think I compromise? It's all about compromise. Maybe, you might, maybe once in a while you compromise. You don't compromise. I think like most people compromise. Let's put it that way. Okay. Uh, howdy to J.K. Van Fleet. I don't know if we've shouted you out. I see you in Kenneth Canelty was here. He's got to go. Uh, Whiskey Wolf, formerly known as Ebhead. Uh, somebody was just commenting. Uh, oh, here we go. J.K. Van Fleet. He found a 2017 classic cut the other day. The 2018 has showed up there. See, we haven't seen the 2018 version yet here, just the 2017 still. Mm. So, um, and then Tom R had asked, where is there a general? I'm just, I'm guessing that somewhere in Florida is a general on a shelf because we, there's been some compass box finds in, in liquor Florida. stores in Florida. I think Florida must have been an early importer of compass, of compass box. box. And it's not real well known, especially it wasn't real known 10 years ago. Hmm. I was going to make a joke. Yeah, I think you know, I got a sister that lives in Florida. Uh -huh. She was complaining that, uh, that, well, Florida, quote unquote, has a lot of pill mills. <laughs> in other words, a lot of folks get hooked on the, the oxy. So maybe they're headed to the liquor store and they're like, I heard there's a general there. And then they're like, whoop. Hey, <laughs> wow. Look at this. <laughs> Just. Teasing. Igor says, please don't get into complex pronunciations with his first name. Just call him Greg. Thank you. Greg from Paris. Ooh. God. That's Paris. Bam. Greg from Paris. Greg, if we're ever in France, we will look you up. I so much. I'm a huge World War II guy. I'm a, like a hickory nut. And I so, so want to do a, a tour of like Normandy on through. So. Well, and Greg said, Greg from Paris says, loves he loves the new Compass Box Delilah's blend. He didn't really get it with the first release. Mm -hmm. The Delilah's 25th is a is sherry mm -hmm. influence. The first one was not. Mm -hmm. And I really, I think the first one was a little longer as well. Um, I've had both. Uh, the, and the new 25, I really like as well. I think it's really well done. Now, look at this. Whiskey Throttle says, that scotch the stomach. I'm at the best bar in Scotland. And then he has literally a black flag. Is that the name of it? So far in Scotland, black flag. I bet you it's called black. Could be. Gregory. This is Gregory. It's Gregory. Gregory. Good night, princess. Night <laughs> Good Roger night, Quick. sippy cup. <laughs> Love it. That's what's going on in this house. <laughs> sippy cup, princess, and big belly art. We're going to get to it. <laughs> All right, man. Hemp Hill says yep. which bar? Let's call it. I think Hold that's on, a I good need a show. little shot of the maybe a little bit more McAllen of Nun for you. What if we send this home with you? Here's a here's a see wait, here's a here's a nun for you. Real quick. What is that going off the table? Who took over? Oh, you did because I can't stand it. Why are you in commenting on all my posts and everything? Suddenly, yeah, I will no, no, this <laughs> I have my I have some scotch. 
friends that have commented on my personal page. And it's funny, they'll go, hey, what's up? And you'll come in and go, this is Scott. This is on my page, not the Scott Stills. I have Stills not done that. did with uh, Hip Hill. Was it Hip Hill or was it Rombout? I think it was Rombout. 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 And you, mm -hmm. you like tuned in on my mm -hmm. page. Yep. Like there's friends and you're like, hey, it's Scott. Well, like, what the no, I'll tell you what happens. The uh, the mobile browser know, is completely yeah. different. Sure. Than the right. Anytime, even though I'm on the Scotch Pet Test Dummies page on the on my phone, yes. if I try to reply to something, it goes to your account. Right. I have to go to the laptop to reply to right. somebody and have it be from the Scotch. You Tech know what Dummies I was waiting for? My mom's going to be but, like, "Hey, look at this burrito I got here at this." Yeah. And you'll be on like, no, "Hey, this is Scott. I'm so, on Bart's page." Rombout made a post and you replied to it. I go, "No, no, huh? You don't like Facebook. Bye, bye now. Yeah, See ya. Uh -uh. Yeah. Bye." I'm like, "Hey, don't be replying to I've stuff. actually friended Rombout <laughs> to my personal page. Not everybody gets that, but Rombout is." But Ron like gets updates on like dumb family stuff. Even. You just insulted all of Scotland, dude. That's the Scotland With flag. What? what is the black flag? Is the Scotland flag? It is flag. not. I've seen this. That's Scottish what Kilted flag. Moose says. He's wrong. It's got a blue cross. The the uh, Scottish flag has the blue the blue crossed uh, come across it diagonally. Maybe they're in there. Maybe the black uh, flag would be closest to like pirate. Maybe the something. Apple icon just doesn't quite show oh, it in detail. If the Apple icon isn't all we're seeing is a completely black flag. <laughs> I'm like, all right, bye bye now. Yeah, you don't bye like bye Facebook, bye. right? No more comment. Well, bye. I use Facebook no, for no. myself, but yeah, I did. So you would use funny. it for yourself, but not do the Scotch Test Dummies page. This isn't what you've said. This is new information. Before you but didn't if, like. Now Facebook. that you have my complete page, you can see how much I even update family on my personal page. I, I've I got a sister okay. that'll put like everything. I'm like I'm headed to the dentist, and I I don't care that she's headed to the dentist. <laughs> she lives in New Mexico. I don't care. I got two cavities. I need to floss more. I don't care. I really yeah, text don't. me. Text me. I don't need no, that. No, I don't Facebook. care about that either. I don't. I don't care how you floss. I don't care that you're going to the dentist. If you said to me and mm. called me head to the dentist. I'd be like, quit telling me that dumb crap. I don't care. Real quick, McAllen Estate Reserve. We haven't even added water to. It's been it's delicious. delicious. Sitting here sipping on diluted, delicious. Forty-five point seven percent. But good. you just hit on it. That's where I think social media goes wrong. I think there are individuals. I'm just going to say family. There are family that think I care that they're headed to the dentist. I don't care that you're headed to the dentist. It's called, it's called compromise. No, 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 no. If if my wife told me in a text, I'm headed to the dentist, I would be like, babe, I don't care. I don't care. If my wife went in and flossed at night and said, I just flossed, like, babe, quit telling me irrelevant crap. I don't care. What do you got? Whiskey Throttle says three fifty a bottle at this hotel bar. <laughs> Was it what this? The McAllen? A state reserve or what? What's three fifty a bottle? He wants to get me off my rant. Uh yeah, Kill says the flag that Whiskey Throttle posted is the Scotland flag and it shows up fine on his oh, end. It's not showing up on our end. It literally is a completely black flag. It did look flag. like a black flag. Yeah, it's yeah. completely black. I know what the uh, Scottish flag looks like. So, uh, <laughs> Lana Luce is uh, laughing out loud. It's colonoscopy the year. Yeah. I agree. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ron Bouts, hey, hey, because he's in my personal friend list. <laughs> Daniel Brown, compromise for, uh, for the win. Scott knows where it is. Yeah, Scott will compromise. I'm just telling you, if my wife sends yeah. out a tweet that says, I just flossed, I'm like, quit putting that crap out on the web. Nobody cares. We've got people tuning out. I think oh. it's time to, we've been trying to wrap it up. I know. I know. And then we went on, and then I went on a rant. Well, you, Another you, social media rant. We've you, heard it. You attacked. <laughs> bye. Scotch it. Bye-bye now. Scotch guys. Bye-bye now. Uh -uh. <laughs> so launch it, dummies. We'll be as big as Joe Rogan someday. <laughs> Put that in the comments.